Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Any political party, any civil society, any church, you are on your own. You engage in criminality, in corruption, you are on your own. I've said this several times. Is it just words? No. There are cases now where we have removed people from this government, including those appointed by this president. And we have no qualms about that. And we will not tire in taking action. I want to say the very time. This president, this vice president, these ministers should not tire to do what is right for them. Somebody said to me, send me a message. Mr. President, are you not tired of pushing this issue? I said, what do you mean? The day I'm tired is the day that I'm not relevant to society anymore. There's nothing to tire about. I return to reporting transgressions when you face it, when you see it, when you experience it. But to report correctly. Because otherwise, it will be dogs chasing cats and cats chasing mice and mice chasing rats and little insects. There is confusion. Over the years, we have lost the, the values that we are supposed to live with truthfulness, detesting crime, detesting corruption. And we begin to accommodate these negative vices. This government will not accommodate negative vices. This country should not do that. Let me flip the coin. In fighting corruption, in fighting crime, we should not commit crimes. In fighting corruption, in fighting criminality, we must not commit crimes. So if anyone is culpable, it means there's no one about the law. If you create, you commit crimes, or you are corrupt, you can't hide behind the political party. You can't hide behind the church. You can't hide behind ruling party. You'll be angry. There is no room for you to hide there. You can't hide anywhere. That's the point I think. So when you transgress in the process of fighting crime or corruption, the law, another law will be triggered. Isn't it? And the process will move on. So don't cry foul, citizens. Don't cry victim. No. Even there, you're on your own. We will work with the international law enforcement agencies, continue doing that. Already there's collaboration that's going on. By virtue of my office, I'm aware that there's collaboration going on. 
those that bolted from the airport, those that went away, we have been mocked already. Institutions have been mocked the global network of law enforcement. I've been out for a few days, but and I used the opportunity when I was there to talk to my fellow colleagues what was happening at home here in Zambia. And that we needed their support. And invariably, without exception, everyone said that crime in Zambia <coughs> takes the regional dimension, international dimension, it affects all of us. And so I want to encourage law enforcement agencies, invoke those networks. If you are facing problems, talk to us, we'll talk to our colleagues there, you'll get the support. Do not be intimidated by the fact that someone is foreign, someone is powerful. I don't understand when people say, no, no, no. That individual is untouchable, is powerful. What does that mean? You are afraid? Are you compromised? If you are afraid, we will help you to gain courage. If you are compromised, we will remove you. It's as simple as that. But you have the machinery of government and the global community to help you fight crime. So there is no issue of cross border. Someone has crossed the border. Where have they gone? Have they, have they gone to heaven? Only where God is, we can reach. In today's world, only where God is, we can reach. Where a human being is, will reach it by a stroke of a phone call. So there's no hiding place. Crime does not pay. Corruption does not pay. Eventually, you damage even your children and your great grandchildren. Their name will be damaged. No one will trust them to do business with them. They carry a label on their foreheads, on their backs. This one is a child of a corrupt or law breaker. This one is a child of a drug dealer. You have encumbered your children even before you give them the chance to be somebody in society. Let me close by saying this government who uphold the rule of law, no matter what happens. Vice President, I've whispered to colleagues since I came in last night, the relevant ones, that what happened at the airport, we commend the law enforcement agencies. We commend citizens that were elected. The question is that there could have been situations where planes came like that, transacted, and left. It's good that this camp has been exposed. But at time to that, I have asked the question myself. How did the other plane taxi on the runway? What was the communication? Who gave people who went on the runway yellow jackets? It's a question. Where do they work? What systems are there to allow a facilitation? I'm here saying that we will ensure that those two are brought to the table. It's a failure of supervision. While we commend what was done, but it's a failure of supervision. I am told there was negotiations for some time. I will not dwell into the facts of the case, because that's not right for me to do. But institutionally, 
we must check who is responsible for those movements. How did it happen? Which individuals were involved? What role did they play? Everybody will be discussed. And I want to assure the people of Zambia by closing. Criminals will be there, but the environment has changed. The leadership has changed. What you were able to do some time back, you will not be able to do it. You will not be allowed to do it. You are on your own. I want to assure the people of Zambia that we were elected to do what is right. We were elected not to observe and look there, but see and look there. We were elected to do what is right. Let's work as a country to clean up our society. And we should do it without fear. I don't know why people fear things. Many of you fear death. There's only one who controls life. God. He knows when each one of us is going. Even those of you who are afraid, He knows when you are going. So you may still want to be alive, but God says, today is your day, you go. So why are you afraid? Just do your work. Do your work. The rest leave it to God. If some of us were afraid of death, we wouldn't be sitting here as that say. I would say. I would have probably jumped to another country, Brenner. And when colleagues will say, you better move, you'll be killed. I said, what do you mean? You can die in the shower. Enjoy your shower. You fall off and you die. So what are you afraid of? If you are tired of working in your institution, you are a law enforcer, put in a letter, resign. Go, someone, 20 million people, someone else will come and do that. That's the way it works, to serve the public. So my assurance to the people of Zion is that crime will fought. We're going to invest a bit more now. Going forward, looking at the lapses here and there, including technology, we'll invest a bit more. I think citizens deserve that. They do deserve that. But citizens must know that things have changed. And will not let them down. Fear is not what you should live with. The Bible is very clear. Fear not. And let's say something you know. To be professional. To also have a system of Suggesting is to recognize that technology has changed. There could
will be other platforms, other contacts. Remember I said credible contacts, yeah? protected contacts. Also, so that when you call that contact, you are protected. When you give the message, you are also able to give your identity in a manner that is confidential. And that identity will not be abused. That there lies the issue of building professional networks. And if they, that's the example I'm giving. And when the call or contact is received from the law enforcement agencies, is treated in a confidential manner. I don't like to teach or to provide a lecture here. The institutions are there, I think in due course, they will be able to engage with the hub to be able to provide what I'm saying. I'm only giving a suggestion. A businessman was arrested and his lawyer was saying he was a whistleblower. This is complicated now. I have trust in the leadership of the DC. And I think U.S. citizens need to give that institution <coughs> trust. Changes we're making in these institutions should lead us to enhance trust and confidence of these institutions to handle matters like that, to assess whether this is a waste of law or not. Is this a waste of law or not? I will not say much. That competence lies in the institutions that are handling these cases. I don't want to say something to jeopardize the fair treatment of any one of those who have been arrested, any one of the accused. It's not my, my intention today, but my intention is to say crime will be fought directly, openly, or even when it's smeared with vastness. Sometimes criminals smear you with vastness. More importantly, they give you the most expensive perfume so that the smell changes. That's not for me to determine. It's for the agents. They are listening. That's a job. I don't send instructions to the agency. This president doesn't work like that. <laughs> my son, my son. When I was in Angola, I read one of the statements of my colleagues somewhere. Opponents say, no plane lands without the clearance of the president. I'm sure you saw it in the Are you a shy now? I'm sure you read that statement where someone emphatically says, when that plane landed, it means state house. Who did they mean as that? It's me. Maybe it's the vice president. I hope you are aware that the presidency is the president, the vice president's office, is part of the office of the president, cabinet office. Part of the office of the president. So they would have meant that this presidency here and the people around the state house, or the vice president, and the people around her, or secretary of the cabinet, because that's the office of the president, in case you're not aware. Or indeed, the other offices of the president. Essentially, meaning the president authorizes. It doesn't work like that. We have civil aviation. In the past, maybe it worked like that. Now it doesn't work like that. They are institutions. If you want to call those as the presidents, maybe you're right. But this president, this vice president, is not our duty to know who is landing, when, who is taking over, what are they carrying on. The institutions that should be mandated to do that. Please, citizens, understand. Also, so I want to.
to say to you, the presidency doesn't directly get involved in who is landing, what are they carrying, when are they taking off? No. I'm aware in my time in opposition I was not allowed to use the airport. But that's gone. Now the airports are violent. The roads are violent. Asked by law. Remember, rule of law again. Airports are public places. But still, it does not mean airports must be used for criminality. I hope you understand. But this president doesn't get involved. Unless there is a trigger that requires me as commander in chief to invoke that. That I will do. But there has been no opportunity or situation for that. So, also, let's leave that speculation. Lawyers are speculating. If I say anything about the speculating, let the law enforcement agencies do their job. And as evidence comes out, some of these things will shock you. The very people who are pointing a finger or fingers at other people may be the ones that they vote. You got me? Because this thing on Monday, you no, State House. This one, they even started drawing, you know, uh, graphs, and maybe because I like graphs, they wanted to use graphs as well. And, and the pictorial presentations. Mm, maybe that was their question. So, Oswald, let's wait. Let's wait and see. Everything that goes up comes up, isn't it? That's the law of gravity. Everything that goes up comes up. Master Oswald, collaboration with others, such as what? I'm sure you're aware of an institution, an institution called INTA. You're aware of that? That's what I'm talking about. To exchange information, there are protocols that govern exchange of information. Intelligence is another platform where to be open and factual. Intelligence is another line. Police intern is another. Just to give you, you know, a side issue, Vice President. Where I went, we got started to back our citizen to be the head of Inter. Am I right? Who is the Minister of Home Affairs? Is there? Yes, Mr. Must also, as a small digression, this government has made a decision that it will promote citizens, including you, to get international jobs. We will stand behind you if there is an international press union, which I'm sure there is. The same way you collaborate, Al Jazeera gives you stories. French media gives you stories. BBC gives you stories. That's the same here, security and crime. But the, the side story I'm giving you, only yesterday, we lobbied all the southern countries, 16 of them, to support your own brother, this man. I won't tell you the name. As a candidate to take over the leadership of Inter. That's a side issue. I'm only reinforcing the existence of Inter. Those are the platforms I'm talking about. Bilateral platforms. This government will have security understandings with neighbors to exchange information. You are aware that we have brought back into our countries two helicopters. I don't know if the second one has come. When? When? Today, sir. Myself. Two helicopters are associated with criminality. One has already arrived. I think that arrived a month or so ago. The second one is coming. How are we able to do that? Collaboration. Because the helicopters were taken into foreign countries.
I would have said, commend the UPN leader. But no, it's our duty. I am sure you are aware that this president has gone out to create stronger relationships with neighboring countries. Are you aware of that? These relationships are brought to bear when we need to involve them, such as on those two endpoints, such as this case. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Remember, I said, if you are hiding where God is, we can't reach you. But if you are hiding where human beings go, we'll reach you. Just like that. So you can't be a criminal here and jump into another country and expect that you have a safe haven. Kulipi. Chiku Pets. It's a matter of time. Sometimes we know where people are. But we remain civil. Sometimes even here locally, we know they are hiding. The police know. Somebody was not going to court, jumping bail. And the police knew where he was. And I commend the police. Because where he was, it was not necessary to create a story and news around it. My view was that sooner or later they will come out. And they came out. I won't say more. And then they go take this course. Then you accuse law enforcers and the politicians that they are after me. No, it's the law that is after you. You want the law not to be after you. Don't commit crimes. From previous governments, from this government. I do believe future governments. Do not commit a crime. Work hard to raise your children. <coughs> this government will support you. Finish. If it doesn't work. Hmm. In order to assure the nation, you, the nation, and the world, Zambia is not a safe haven for criminality. Zambia is not a safe nation. It's not a hiding place for corruption. No. Zambia is a place to do business. Genuine business, legal business. Zambia is a country to live in and we work hard to protect you. Legally. Zambia welcomes tourists. I hope Rhoda you know we remove visas now for a lot of countries. And you go to Rwanda now, Mfue, you go to Livingston, the tourist numbers have increased. Talk to two operators, talk to airlines, talk to anybody, Vice President, I'm very delighted that the police changes we're making are working already. Occupants is a corner, more our young people will be employed for them. That's what we intend to do. And that's what we do. But this country, flip side of that, this country is not a safe haven for any criminality. Let me go now to you. I've set the background. This country, this commander in chief, will not allow men and women in uniform to use the badge to commit crime. Let me share something you didn't know. We were having a lot of traffic congestion where senior government officials will stop traffic to give them way. They were doing that outside the law. I have put my foot on it. You may have not paid attention. You get to see that stuff? Talk to someone. The laws are clear. Who stops traffic if there's an emergency? Who does it? So we are basically clamp, clamping down the road on lawlessness. Sometimes it's not crime per se, but it becomes criminality, it becomes an offense to the law if we are doing that, things outside the law. And it matters if there's an ambulance, yes. We all know those provisions. But people can't say 
I am the minister. Therefore, I'm stopping the traffic from moving so I can pass. I've said to this minister of the cabinet, no, ladies and gentlemen, you will not do that. You used to see people driving in the opposite direction of the road. I'm sure you remember, sometimes we forget this. That was normal in Musab. You see that tip up. You will not allow it. Whether product comes from a senior government official, a military person, a police officer, correctional service officer, no. All of this is to retain and restore the rule of law. That was the subject today, isn't it? Rule of order. I'm glad you raised this issue. Yes. Law enforcement agents are sitting here. They will clamp down on anyone. Remember when I began talking, I said, the law does not recognize your dress. Maybe I didn't say the dress, but I said your height, your language, your speak, which chief you come from. And then the tenders now, someone breaks the law, they rush to the traditional leader where they come from. No, when they come here, each other, they come and fool where you want to go. Well, for still committing crime, you didn't go to the pool. The military is committing crime. Equally, the uniform does not stop anyone from it. Does not exonerate anybody from the law. I hope I'm right. I do know I'm right. There are things that men and women in uniform are allowed to do by law. So in a nutshell, there's commander in chief. I have delivered that message and I monitor. After all, the most disciplined people must be men and women in uniform. In society, isn't it? And I have great belief in our commanders. All of them. Army, ZAP, National Service, Police, Correctional Services, other systems. I have every belief. I appointed them. If I didn't believe in them, I would have removed them. It's as simple as that. That's the law. So, but they know, they understand, and they are professionals. They know what the Constitution says, they know what several laws say, they know what they are allowed to do, what they are not allowed to do. In the case of images, mm, yes. If there's instability in the country, yes. But the commander in chief will provide the direction. But not anything else. Rhoda, I want to encourage you and others here, the citizens, to wait and see when this case unfolds. Just wait and see. But to be blunt, Rhoda, I think there's some word you're looking for me. If a policeman got involved in this crime, they'll be arrested. If a soldier got involved in this crime, they will be arrested. I guess the crime you're talking about, and the other crimes. I must drill it. If someone wearing a cover of the civil service, anywhere, including state house, they got involved, they will be arrested. I've extended my answer to your question to reinforce the point that the law is about the spring. I know there was lawlessness in this country. I know. You know. But we're working hard to stop it. But I must also say to you, Lord, all habits that hard. Eh? People in your I want to be like that one. I want to try a hammer. You want to try the hammer? Work hard within the law. If you, you try the hammer because you are breaking the law because you are doing corrupt things. You may never see the day you enjoy the hammer. The hammer will remain outside <coughs> and you will be in prison. How does that help you? Some of these aspirations are really sad. We were brought up to work hard. We were brought up to be disciplined. We were brought up 
in a Christian nation, where have we, why have we lost our values? What do we believe in as a nation? Teaching our children that you don't have to work, you can drive a hammer, you can drive a Rolls Royce, you can drive a beer without working. Who is funding that? Certainly, if what you aspire to drive is funded by the taxpayer illegally, the law will catch up with you. It's a matter of time. Thank you, Robert. Thank you very much. This is DJ Mutat exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.